going on everyone got a brand new movie review for you guys today and i'm finally discussing a film that i've been very much looking forward to and that is james wan's aquaman now aquaman is another film into this dc center trick universe it's the dcu that they're building up we know that there's been some issues with it i'm one of the few that has actually enjoyed a majority of the films in this universe i've loved some and i've liked some and i've been disappointed by some but overall i've been let down by the structure of the universe and not knowing what we're gonna get next but after Justice League, I got a little bit more hopeful, even though I felt like the film was kind of a mess at times, but still an energetic ride. I looked at Aquaman and I said, please be the savior of the DCEU. And even though Wonder Woman kind of pumped us up to that horse, I think Aquaman gets us over the hill and past it further down. I loved Aquaman. And I'm going to start this review by saying that. I loved Aquaman. Is it perfect? By any means, no. There are certainly issues that I did have with this film, and I will get to those. But I absolutely loved what James Wan had crafted in here. I think James Wan is one of the best directors working today. He's made The Conjuring, he made Fury 7, he's done a lot of masterful things in Hollywood so far, but I will go as far as saying I think Aquaman is his strongest directed film to date. There's a lot of reasons why it's so strongly directed. One, you can say it's because of the passion behind the screen. You can feel the passion on every single scene in this film. The lore and the mythology that is built within this world is outstandingly creative but inventive and it doesn't feel like too much and it doesn't feel like something that's so unbelievable that you can't believe in it no this feels like a very fleshed out and fully realized world that i could believe that if i go next time i go to the beach i'm gonna be like oh my god atlantis might be down there it's also just that the way that james wan decides to tell the story in here because there are flashbacks it goes back and forth it tells a story but it tells in a very epic sense of a scope this film in a sense i i told my friend walking out of it that this is the mythology and lore or an epicness of a Lord of the Rings thrown under the sea with the Star Wars sci-fi elements plummeted down also underwater but then even down there you have a high seas Pirates of the Caribbean Indiana Jones type of adventure because there are a lot of Indiana Jones vibes in here and that might sound like a mess and it could have been but I think with having James Wan on board to handle this ship and sail it in the right way you got it and that's, again, what this film is so accomplishing of. Furthers out a world that, again, could have been a little bit convoluted and confusing, and it makes it so well fully realized. The performances in here are great. Jason Momoa, hands down, gives the best performance of his career to date. He's not just the one-note, one-line funny guy, but he is a good performance in here. You see emotion. You see dramaticness into him. And I love what they did with Aquaman's style and what they did. He still has those goofy one-liners, don't get me wrong, and they're always great to hear Jason Momoa give and deliver. Liver. Amber Heard is a big standout as Mara as well. She's a fully fleshed out centric character. The relationship between her and Arthur is a one of a kind that I actually did believe in. They have such great chemistry with one another that Justice League never really established, but this film establishes even more. Now, let me talk about some of the side characters. Nicole Kidman's always great. She has one of the best action scenes in this film, and I'll talk about the action in a second because I thought it was absolutely stunning. But going even from Nicole Kidman, you have Willem Dafoe shows up. He's great. Patrick Wilson plays Orem, the main villain in here, and he is excellent. A lot of complaints that people have with comic book films is that they don't flesh out the villains. Orm is a fleshed out villain, and I actually really appreciate that they took the time to get to know the character. I'm not going to say I totally loved him, but he kind of has that Killmonger side to him where you understand what he is doing and why he is doing it. And of course, we also have Black Manta showing up in here who is absolutely stunning in here the suit the style the action he's a badass and again you understand why he is it's something arthur screwed up before of why he wants to kill him and you get and understand that to the teeth there are so many different sequences in here that really blew my mind out of the water. Again, I mentioned the action scenes, especially with Nicole Kim. You saw some of it in the trailer. You get tons of scenes like that. There are a lot of one shots in here that move the camera in such a stylish motion that obviously James Wan got it from directing Fury 7 and even The Conjuring. And you feel those movements. It keeps you on the edge of your seat, gripping your fist and understanding, oh my god, oh shit, oh crap, here it goes, let's see this. And it's so badass the way that the camera moves and it's so fluid and smooth that you're never feeling like you're missing out on anything it's capturing every single thing on the screen and i have to, i said to myself multiple times how did they film that a couple chase sequences are excellent they're all one shot takes so again you did see in the trailer and there's more furthered out into the film and there's one horrific horrifying scene that this must be the reason that james wan got the gig that can he pitch this scene to the studio this is the scene that he got the gig for and it was horrifically terrifying 
and it felt straight out of a horror film, but matched the tone of this film. I've talked about all the great things in this film, and I've talked about how epic it feels, how I love the story, how I loved all the Indiana Jones vibes, the performances, the action scenes. Again, I didn't think it was perfect, though. There are some problems with the film, and as much as I love the film, I do want to address them. I felt at times this film was too goofy. Um, it mixes its tones a bit, and sometimes it doesn't fit too well. Sometimes it went too goofy and broke up the tension, and sometimes it was goofy and then it got super dramatic and got overly dramatic at times where it kind of felt like a soap opera with the camera zoom in, camera zooms in here, gets you all lovey-dovey and predictability and you kind of understand where some things are going to go, certain subplots. But again, that's such a small nitpick and at times it did take me out of my movie going experience. But when it got me back into the world of Atlantis to the DCU to Aquaman's world, I was full on on board in this film. I adored it. That's what I can say. Before I give you guys my final thoughts, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you guys are new here. And plus, check out Sandwich on Films also down below because we are giving it out in advanced movie screen tickets to see this film early next Monday. So do check it out, guys, if you guys want to check out that film early before all your other friends can. Plus, you can check out some movie news and movie reviews down there. Aquaman. I loved it. I love the mythology and the lore that they built into this world. I'm a sucker for world building films, and this is one of those films that built this world to a teeth. I want to go back to Atlantis. I want to join back in this world. I want to meet more characters more species more things under the sea and man this film would have not worked if it wasn't for James Wan his creative imaginative eye and mind just fleshed out this world in such a visually breathtaking way some of the best visual effects of the year when nothing felt like it was just off-putting everything looked stunningly amazing and if you go back and look at that first trailer and you go back to this film you can totally tell all the small touch-ups by the ending battle scene that is straight up ripped out of a lord of the rings mythology kind of lore to all the sci-fi elements that are put into this film it all feels like it's mixed perfectly which easily could have been so complicated and so convoluted but it's not it's easy to understand it's easy to get swept away into this world and aquaman easily is an a minus i honestly understand if someone doesn't like this film i think there are going to be people who love this film there are going to be people who like this film some people who just think it's fine or maybe are totally disappointed in it for me personally I loved it. It was everything I wanted this film to be and more. I wish the goofy things would have been taken out a bit, but I'm curious to hear your guys' thoughts on Aquaman. So let's talk about it down below. What are your guys' thoughts on this film? Did you guys like it? Did you hate it? Did you love it? How excited are you for this film if you have not seen it yet? Let's talk about it down below in the comments. As of course, until next time, stay classy.